Hello guys, this is Tensai Hill from Bumako and today we are going to be doing the jaw test and usually what you want to know from this test is if your soil is expansive or actually if you can determine the percentages of the soil of the clay, silt and sand in the soil and uh, I don't think it gives an accurate um, analysis of those uh, percentages but I think for a beginner it can be a start and I think I'm de dealing with a very silty soil because I've done my analysis and uh, maybe in another video I will do a sensitive analysis to show you how you can identify a silty soil but if you want to do a jar test usually the mistake I see people do is they usually fill the container halfway or even more and uh, you don't want to do that what you want to do in order to get a very accurate test the jar test is you want to divide your container into three so like if uh, you're gonna add the sun the sun should be at uh, the soil sorry the soil should be one third of uh, the container and what you want to do is so once you let it settle like this you just pour in water and you don't want to you don't want to shake right away what you want to do is you want to fill it up slowly so that the soil can absorb the water slowly and uh, you just have to let a tiny amount of uh, space just so that you, you'd be able to shake it really well and um, just by doing this i can start to already see that i'm not doing with a very sandy soil because if it is going to be a sandy soil once the water drops the, the water drop mixes with the soil directly it's gonna go to the brown uh, to the ground because uh sandy soil is very very porous so the water will just seep through and then go through down all the way to the bottom but you can see this is taking time so you're either dealing with a very silty soil or clay soil but like i said i know this is a very silty soil because i have uh, done a sensitive analysis of this so back to the jar test what you want to do is just let it uh, absorb the water all the way to the bottom part and usually you're gonna have to let it uh, for like a minute a good minute or two or three or even five minutes you know just so that it will all be wet and once it's wet it's wet you know you can then come back and then you can see it's already wet so you can come back and then shake it thoroughly so you want to like really make sure that everything is shaking it's shake shaking totally shake it thoroughly very very thoroughly and then what you want to do after shaking it is let it settle for another minute or two and once you let it settle for another minute or two and then you shake it again this is a very very bad soil for compressed earth bricks because the soil is not settling really quick it's there's no there's zero amount of sun in that soil it's a very very silty soil so you can see the soil is not settling easily this shows you that you have no sand if you have any sand then it's gonna be a very salty type of soil uh, sand in the soil which is uh, not good for your compressed earth bricks so what you're going to do is just keep it for if you want a better result you have to keep it for 24 hours then you can then identify your layers but uh, yeah so if you just let it settle for another 30 minutes or half an hour uh, half an hour or one hour you'd be able to understand and start to get to understand yourself so 
I'm just gonna tick this right in and then let it settle and then I'll get back to you tomorrow with the result.